We don't yet know exactly what these three objects were. But nothing, nothing right now suggests they were related to China's spy balloon program or that they were surveillance vehicles from other, any other country. The intelligence community's current assessment is that these three objects were most likely balloons tied to private companies, recreation or research institutions studying weather or conducting other scientific research. I want to be clear. We don't have any evidence that there has been a sudden increase in the number of objects in the sky. We're now just seeing more of them partially because the steps we've taken to increase our radars, to narrow our radars. And we have to keep adapting our approach to uh, delaying, to dealing with these challenges. That's why I've directed my team to come back to me with sharper rules for how we will deal with these unidentified objects moving forward, distinguishing, distinguishing between those that are likely to pose safety and security risks that necessitate action and those that do not. Our intelligence community is still assessing all three incidences. They're reporting to me daily and will continue their urgent efforts to do so, and I will communicate that to the Congress. We don't yet If any object presents a threat to the safety and security of the American people, I will take it down. I'll be sharing with Congress these classified policy parameters when they are completed, and uh, they'll remain classified so we don't give our roadmap to our enemies to try to evade our defenses. Going forward, these parameters will guide what actions we'll take while responding to unmanned and unidentified aerial objects. We're going to keep adapting them as the challenges evolve, if it evolves. In addition, we've I've directed my national security advisor to lead a government-wide effort to make sure we are positioned to deal safely and effectively with the objects in our airspace. First, <clears throat> we will establish a better inventory of unmanned airborne objects in space above the United States airspace, and make sure that inventory is accessible and up to date. Second, we'll implement further measures to improve our capacity to detect unmanned object uh, objects in our airspace. Third, we'll update the rules and regulations for launching and maintaining unmanned objects in the skies above the United States of America. And fourth, the, my Secretary of State will lead an effort to help establish a global a global, common global norms in this largely unregulated space. These steps will lead to safer and more secure skies for our air travelers, our military, our scientists, and for people on the ground as well. That's my job as your president and commander in chief. As the events of the previous days have shown, we'll always act to protect the interest of the American people and the security of the American people. Since I came to office, we've developed the ability to identify, track, and study high-altitude surveillance balloons connected with the Chinese military. 